Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate on how to create an APA format style tables from your SPSS output tables, okay? So I'm just going to assume that you know where to find your SPSS output table, okay? Because um, I have mine here. I'm just going to click on that. Okay, before I work on anything, I would like to do some tweaking, okay? So just go to SPSS statistics. Okay, go to preferences. So your SPSS statistics is on your top left, okay, on the corner. So I'm just going to click on that and go to preferences. All right, so the default one will actually bring you to the general tab. So I don't want to do anything in this tab or neither any other tab except for the pivot tables, okay? So just go straight to pivot tables, click on it. Okay, and you can see this column, there's a lot of um, styles of the table look, okay? So um, um, don't panic if you don't see this because usually they don't have it and you have to manually import it. Okay, so how do I actually manually import all of this, okay? So just go to your browse here, click on the browse. Okay, but first of all, you need to know where is your SPSS folder which comes together with the application. So usually if you download your SPSS um, application from the internet, it comes in a folder, okay? So um, in my case, I put it in my applications. Um, so the folders looks like this, okay? So you can see this SPSS folder, blue color one, okay? So in this folder, there are three subfolders, looks, properties, and samples, okay? So I'm just going to click on looks. Okay, so as you can see here, all the format is .stt. This is the table look style, okay? So all of the table looks are stored in here. So you need to find this folder and go to this directory, okay? And um, at this point, I need you to go to Compact Academic Times Roman because um, this is the format that is the most similar to APA format. I'm just going to click on this. Click on the Compact Academic Times Roman. All right. And just click Open. Okay. So you will actually import it into your um, pivot tables. Okay. So as you can see here, I have a duplicated one. Because I've imported this earlier before I made this video. So... Um, no worries, I'm just going to remove that, just set table directory. You don't have to click this if, if you don't have a duplicated one, okay? So, um, now you can see I only have one of this, alright? So just click OK. Click OK down here. Okay, and we're good to go. Now I'm just going to choose a very simple table for demonstration. I'm just going to go to the t-task. Okay, so... Just double click this to activate it or to select it. Double click. Okay, so now you can see that the table is um, black in color. I mean, for the title background, it's black in color. But if double clicking doesn't work for you, okay, you may want to try some other method, which is um, the right click. Okay, right click, add content, and you can choose either one. In viewer or in separate window, it doesn't matter because it only gives you the preference to do the editing in different windows or in the same window, okay? So in this case, I'm just going to choose this one in viewer. So it's actually the same function as double clicking, okay? So after you did this, up to this point, just right click, okay? And um, I go to table looks. Okay, as you can see here, table looks. All right, now you can see that um, in your table looks, it's the, um, there's this sample display of how your table is going to look like. Okay, so in this case, you're going to choose Compact Academic Times Roman because that's the most similar to APA format style. <coughs> All right, but we're not done yet. Um, we have to do some tweaking on it so that it will actually look like a real APA format style. Okay, just go to edit look right down here, edit look. 
Okay, so in edit look, it's going to bring us to this table properties, okay? So you see these table properties? Okay, we're not going to touch general, we're not, we're not going to touch any um, footnotes. We're just going to go straight to cell formats, which is the third tab. Cell formats, click on it. Okay, so it actually directs you to here where you can actually tweak on the text and alignment and stuff. Okay, so the first thing you have to look at is um, this column here, area. Okay, so there's a drop down menu, click on it. Click on the drop down menu, and um, you can see there's uh, different elements of the tables that you can actually edit. Okay, but in this case, we're going to start from title. Okay, start from top to bottom. All right, so click title. Okay, the first thing that you would really want to edit is the text size, okay, the font size, because um, in uh, the default SPSS size, it's actually a size 8 for the font size. So for APA format, um, the default requirement is actually number 12, I mean like size number 12, okay, so you need your all the text to be in uh, size 12, okay, so just gonna change all the size first. Go to layers. Change the size to 12. Corner labels. Change the size to 12. Row labels. I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay. And uh, column labels as well. And uh, data. Data change to 12. As you can see, as you change the font size, um, the sample table will um, change the look too. Okay, so it actually, um, it's a preview of your table, how it's going to look like as you do the tweakings here. 12, okay. And the footnotes, okay. Footnotes, we're going to change to 12. Alright, so now you can see the footnotes, okay. So after that, we're not quite done yet. We're going to go back to title. Just title, okay? Go back to title on the top. And um, as you can see, the title is in the center here. And um, it is, it's, it's in bold, okay? So we don't want that because um, it's, it's not part of the API requirements. We're just going to unbolt that, okay? By clicking the B, which stands for bold. Click on that once, okay? So it's now... Um, on uh, the standard size, the standard style, okay, and I want to italicize this, so I'm just going to click I, okay, so this is the um, requirement for APA style, okay, alright, after you click I, I don't want this to be in the center, because um, it's not that I don't want it to be in the center, but the APA requires it to be on the left, so we need to align it to the left. So we're done with text. We're going to go to alignment down here, alignment. Just click on this one, the second one, which is align left. All right, so now you can see that your title is now aligned to the left side of the table. Okay, so that's all for cell format okay we're not going to touch anything anymore in here and uh, click apply if you have to but mine is like auto apply so i don't need to click on this okay so now we're going to move to borders borders okay so there are three main things that you have to um tweak in borders um the first one will be the top inner frame second one will be the bottom inner frame and the third one will be the data error top okay so just go to the top inner frame first Okay, as you click the top inner frame, you can see the style down here, it's um, double line. And um, in APA format, we just require a single line, okay, um, which is this one, the slimmer or thinner look line. Okay, just click on this one. Alright, so as you can see, it changes here as well. I'm going to go to bottom inner frame. Go to style and do the same thing from the drop down menu. Just click on single line here. Okay, just don't choose the wrong one. Just click this one. It's um, the fourth line. Yes, the fourth line. Alright, now the last one we're going to do is the data area top. 
okay just the data area top not nothing else okay so um, in the style column just gonna go to the drop down menu and select this one the fourth one okay thin little line all right so just click apply if you have to do it and um, after that we're just gonna click okay okay so now you can see that there this table looks similar to APA style which is very much an APA format style for uh, tables okay so um, you won't want to do this every time you have to convert a table into an APA format okay so you would really love to save this as um, one of your custom table style okay so just go to save as okay just save as here don't don't click save look just click save as all right so you need to save it in the right um, directory of your folder because otherwise it wouldn't come out from the table looks okay so um, the best is to save in the SPSS folder itself where all the table format is in okay so I'm just gonna go to my applications again my SPSS well um, you have to find your own SPSS because I put this in my application so I am going to my application folder okay so you can see this SPSS and then click looks looks okay so these are the table format that is saved I mean like pre-saved from the SPSS application now you can see that I have I already have this APA 6 edition which I've um, saved earlier so um, I'm just gonna use this one okay um, in your case you can just put it as any name you want it APA table so APA format or whichever that is easier for you to remember it as an APA table format okay so I'm just gonna click save okay so as you can see this is um already exists so I'm just gonna replace this yes okay all right so some of you may encounter some problem that you can't actually save it okay that's because you have to change the permission which um, most of the default folder that comes together with application doesn't really allow you to do some um, tweaking to their own folders okay so you just have to go to SPSS where you put your folders in go to looks click it once and right click it go to get info as you can see okay if this is not shown just have to click here this um, mini arrow here sharing and permissions click once and it will show your custom access okay so as you can see I've changed mine to read and write what by default it should be um, read only okay so how to how do you actually um, change this just click on the mini padlock I'm just going to type in my password. Alright. Okay, now my mini padlock is unlocked. Okay. Now you have to go to admin. Make sure it's the right one. Name, admin. And the privilege, you will change it to read and write. Because the default one should be read only. But you don't want to read only because now you want it to save your own custom style. Okay. So you're going to go to read and write, read and write, all right. And uh, I'm going to lock that. Okay, so in future, if you want to save any custom styles or do any tweaking to the folder, it will be easier for you. You don't have to always do this. Okay, so um, yeah, it's easier. Now you can close that. And you can try again, save as, all right, and just try to save again as... Um, name of the table and just click save okay just click save over here all right okay so i'm not going to save that because i already have that okay so once you click okay so now you have your apa style format of table which is supposed to look like this okay so now in the future if you, in case you wanted to change any tables into apa format um so that's this one you just have to double click to activate it or you can just right click and edit content okay and after you double click it 
just click right click and I'm go to table looks okay you really wanted to go to table looks instead of table properties because um table properties actually um changes the font size and um the font style and uh, make the wording bolds and stuff like that it doesn't really change the look of the table okay so you go to table looks all right, so as you can see here, you have your custom saved, customized um, format here. Just click on the APA 6th edition. This is what I name it. And just click OK. Now you have your APA style table. Okay, so it's actually quite easy to do it. You just have to put some effort and um, know which one to click and um, you're ready to go. Okay, so thanks for watching.